the time has finally come. Two years at the property. We're on 14 acres. I only have to cut about half of it. I just gotta bite the bullet. I've never owned a zero turn. We're heading over to Pelham to an Xmark dealer. That's what I'm told is the best on the market right now. So we're gonna go look at new mowers. All my landscape buddies recommended Xmark. They're the number one mower in the grass cutting game. So we're just gonna go with the best. If we're gonna buy it, we're gonna buy it right. So I can cut my yard faster, have a smooth ride to make my Sundays that much quicker. From doing my own research and the acres we have, I know I want a 60 inch. So we're going with the big boys. We got an Xmark radius 60 inch and an Xmark laser 60 inch. But we're gonna find out what's gonna be best. So this is a Laser Z uh, E series. The Laser Z is available in basically three different options: an E series, an S series, and an X series. So I know I want a 60 inch. I've been told if I go any bigger than a 60 inch, I'm going to take a chance of scalping. Potentially and, scalping the grass, yeah, right? Not a good a quality cut, especially here in Alabama. Yeah. Nothing's flat. <laughs> yeah, so. we got nothing flat at home. Awesome machine, you know, tip to toe. As you go up, the quality of cut's going to be the same. Sometimes the horsepower changes. The E series, this this machine, will just take versus the next step up. Eight gallon fuel tank. You know the S series will have a, a 12 gallon fuel tank. Once you get to the Laser Z, we're talking about an everyday, all day commercial machine. Okay. So this is a machine that you see on these trucks and trailers that commercial contractors are using four, five, six, seven, eight hours a day. Heavy duty bearing. You know non flat tires. Big huge horsepower. Typically Kawasaki. You know, we do have it available in a Kohler. For, For an average machine, Joe, what's the first thing I would notice between the these speed. two? The ground speed, speed on this. Okay. Yep, yep. I don't want to say efficiency. They're both really, really great because that's probably the number one selling commercial machine right there. This typically has bigger horsepower. So that, that one's cheaper out the door already, yes, right? Yes. Okay. Big, huge, I mean, massive, the best blade spindles that money can buy for a deck linkage, you know, where those hang from the chains. It's heavy duty, you know, the deck still floats. How long does it take you to cut once you start to finish? Um, what would you say, like three or four hours, the yeah. whole yard? Doing what you're doing now, and I've never seen your place. I'm not right. being overconfident. Without a doubt in my mind, you'll cut your time completely in half the first time. That's the goal. That's uh, the biggest thing. The, cool. And then after that, you'll be able to just narrow that down. Yeah. You know, you'll find the quickest route around your property, you know, around trees and hills. Yeah. So maintenance, this machine, actually that one too, um, anything on the laser Z, two grease fittings tip to toe okay. once every 500 hours. So okay. it's a complete maintenance free. You're not going to have to cut grass and work on it. Do you do your own oil change and stuff like that air filters? I would, yeah. This is an oil drain hose. Okay. So the, when it comes time to change the engine oil, you know, you just take the nut off, drain it into a bucket. It has a spin on oil filter right here on the back. It's got a hole cut in the frame so you don't drain the oil all over the frame. Right. Um, air filters right here on top. They're really simple. It's got an inner and an outer. Fuel filter is right here on top. So every fuse on the whole mower is right there. This is the X series, so it's really nice. It comes, you see these rubber shock absorbers? Yeah. It's just a seat, and, and there's nothing under the seat that you can get to. And that ISO mount system will bolt up to any machine, or any laser seat, mm -hmm. you know. So if you like that one because of the price, or if you like that one because of, you know, a certain feature that that had, but you said, hey man, I really gotta, I gotta have the comfort. It, it bolts up. You know, Comfort's whatever. key for sure. That's right. Is it a big gap difference? $2,000 difference. You're getting more speed, you're getting a comfier ride. Through the different side by side, you know, the deck linkage, the spindles, uh, the drivetrain, the nicer seat, most of the time bigger horsepower. Now this situation, that, that has the same horsepower. Kawasaki FX801 is probably our most popular engine on these machines. This one's the same horsepower. What makes this one cut quicker than that one? The, the, the drivetrain. Okay. I like having okay. a bigger nice. transmission. Got you, okay. You know, cool. bigger, faster, stronger. And is that gonna be, say, if I, I've i got more chance of surviving with this if I hit something hard, which obviously we don't, we don't wanna hit, but if, or if I get some, like, some sticks under so there. So, I, I, I wanna say that carefully because hmm. this machine, the S series and the E series, same deck shell, okay? So the actual the fabrication of the shell is the same. Yeah. Um, the linkage is different and the spindles are different. Okay. So I don't want to say this machine because you spent more and it's a nicer mower you can run over something a lot faster or more okay. heavy duty you know yeah. because it's really really and truly it's the same deck shell. Now this one has better components bolted to it so 
depending on how you hit it and where you hit it, it may be stronger. It may take a hit. Okay. You know, where that one may not. Look at these trucks and trailers, you know, all day, every day landscapers. Um, you know, those guys hit stuff too. Yeah. You know, those guys run over stuff. They pick up new yards. They run over rocks. So, not arrogantly, but, yeah. you know, the landscapers are, are using them two to one over the competition. Okay. So, if those guys are picking up properties and new yards and new, you know, stuff that they don't know about yeah you, you know or new properties that they don't know where every little rock and twist and turn yeah you know what i mean they're they're hitting stuff <laughs> it happens and i'm not going to stand here and say for one second we don't you know we don't have spindle problems yeah. but you do a little bit of research you know talk to the folks running these i mean in the conversation we don't have spindle issues you know xmark yeah. hasn't come out in the last two or three or four years and made major changes with their spindles they their spindles are good. You know, they can break, sure they can, but another huge thing to look at versus the competition, five year, 1500 hour warranty. That's okay. strong. Yeah. That's strong. And that's strong. on all machines? That's Just on the X one. series, yeah. Okay. When you go down to the other, you go um, five year, 1000 hour. That's about the strongest warranty in the business. Now, that's in the I fine hear. print, you bring a, a blade in here and you say, hey man, I, I found the fire hydrant. You know what I mean? Yeah, I ran over it. Yeah. I mean, obviously that's not a warranty conversation, right. but most of the time, you know, Xmark, we're really, really blessed to be a part of what they have because they're not peeking over our shoulder. You know, they don't give us a hard time uh, about doing the right thing to the customer, you know, taking care of the customer. So when I was doing my own research, we got the radius as well. Yep. Tell me the difference between. So similar to this machine, the radius, different sizes different options basically bells and whistles so there's an e an s and an x most of the time you go up you do, you change either engine packages or horsepower if you came in and said you know hey man i have two acres that are fresh manicured lawn this would be we have our residential machines we have acreage owner machines so kind of the first step up the ladder e-series radius you know versus an s better bearings different drivetrain same thing we talked about here bigger faster stronger transmission basically warranty power parts you know parts availability that's another thing across the board everything in this book and you're never we run out of stuff every day and we mess up but you're never going to call an xmark dealer and say hey i need this idler pulley on my deck shelf sorry buddy that's back ordered it just doesn't okay, happen. Okay. Obviously, you go bigger and wider, taller when you get to a 60-inch right, yeah, machine because they're right. gonna, you know, put a bigger foundation under it. Yeah. yeah. This 60 versus that 60. Different deck shell, different blade spindles. This machine has air tires on the front. Those are solid tires, so they'll never go flat. A lot of the same technology and pieces and parts that are put into that $13,000 mower are put into this. $6,900 mower, but they obviously, they have to cut costs somewhere, you know, yeah. to get the price down to where okay. it needs to be. So, you know, but it doesn't jeopardize the quality of the machine. Sounds like that one's the low. biggest, baddest mower in the book. X series. And this is actually $1,000 off, eleven nine ninety nine. dollars Deer or a, or a diesel Kubota machine. Mm -hmm. That will go head to head all day long. Okay. So key slot design, so this isn't gonna fall out. It's got a cam lock on it, so raise and lower the deck all you want and it never locks into place so essentially you never have to take your hands off the controls something you don't want to run over you never check up just raise the deck up and keep going we got three machines what are the prices so the radius you start out at 47.99 that's a little 44 inch cut the that is an e-series 60 and that's the 59.99 mower s series because of the kawasaki bigger faster stronger transmission better deck 79.99 on the laser e60 29 horsepower Cowie, 99.99, and then you go to an S Series 60, same engine. You go to 11.399, and then you go to the nicest thing in the whole book. They've got it on sale for 11.999. Zero percent, 48 months, no hidden fees. There's no hidden agenda. Draw a loan today and pay it off tomorrow, and it's zero percent. I want to obviously say the the biggest of the baddest, but does the radius come with the smooth ride at all? It that has an upgraded down. seat, so it does have a suspension seat. It's a spring-loaded seat. It's a oh, nice nicer seat um, when you go to the laser Z it is a nicer seat you know basically the, the padded armrest or what's different Platform. and when you go to the X series it comes with those rubber ISO mounts okay I think honestly that one bat narrows it down
soon as they hit bumps, just not having being jarred was so nice. <laughs> the same seat, fully adjustable, same padding. It just this one it lacks that ISO mount seat tilt okay. system. I did like that one better already though. We got a mower. Dad life's in full effect. We went the Laser Z E series. When we saw the X. That's what I really wanted. They said it was faster, it was stronger. But then more and more we talked, I realized, I think that was a little overkill for what I was doing. The 12 gallon tank versus an eight gallon tank, and I currently cut with maybe a four gallon tank. But what I wanted was the cushion seat. This one, this one came with the, <laughs> this one came with like the spring seat, but the X had it where it like goes sideways like this too. And that was really big for me, having comfort. So obviously you wanted to cut fast. You're never gonna cut at max speed with that. So the machines are gonna cut just as fast as one another. Unless you're out on a baseball field or a golf course, that's completely different when you can actually cut at full speed. We can't do that if I'm being realistic. So then it was down to comfort. I had the cushion seat added. A few hundred dollar upgrade versus an extra two grand. So we saved that, we got the comfort seat. Went with the E series. Definitely decided against the radius. The laser series has a deeper deck, so it allows for more grass to get in that deck without binding it up and overheating anything or burning out a belt. So um, this is the one we went with. <laughs> the trailer I borrowed to bring. We're literally an inch shy. The 60 inch doesn't fit, so we'll continue this when we somehow get it home. Well, it's about almost two months later. I really want to get the feel of this machine. I've actually been able to clear more land, so I'm cutting an extra at least three acres with the extra acreage. I'm down to uh, just under three hours to cut the whole property. My only regret, I wish I would have bought it sooner. I got a lot of grass to cut, so I'm gonna get back to it. I hope this helped making your decision on your next mower purchase. What I will say is invest in the best and do it right the first time. You'll be happy with the job. Till next time, I'm gonna get back to it.